Smart Culture, Mathematics. Let's look at our first example. A chocolate costs 12 rand. A. What will the cost be of four chocolates? And B. Are the quantity in direct or inverse proportion? So we can say if one chocolate costs 12 rand, then four chocolates will be 48 rand. Because on the left hand side, from one chocolate to four chocolates, we've multiplied by four. In the same way, on the right hand side, if one chocolate costs 12 rand, then four chocolates, we can multiply the 12 rand by four to get 48 rand. So will this be direct or inverse proportion? It will be direct proportion because the four chocolates will cost four times as much as one chocolate. So it's the same for both sides. Let's look at example two. It takes four men 30 minutes to move a certain amount of bricks. A, if eight men move the same amount of bricks, how long will it take them? And B, are the quantity in direct or inverse proportion? So if it takes four men 30 minutes, then it will take eight men 15 minutes. So from four men to eight men, we've multiplied by two. But on the other side, from 30 minutes to 15 minutes, we've divided by 2. So is this an example of direct or inverse proportion? This will be inverse proportion because on the one side we've multiplied by 2 and on the other side we've divided by 2. So we can say the more men moving the bricks, the less time it will take. And that's a wrap on today's fascinating journey through the world of knowledge. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our ever-growing community of curious minds. We can't wait to embark on new educational adventures together.